Welcome to the Max 7 tutorial number 6. More uses for messages. When last we were together, we were looking, we made this wonderful timer that uh, can count up to 120 seconds because it's going at 1,000 one thousandths of a second per bee. And um, we thought this would be good for timing eggs. I hope you've all had your share of eggs um, because now you're going to need that energy to think about what else you can do with messages. And here is what you can do with messages. You can um, help understand what's going on. Messages are great because they can directly receive the output of most objects. And I'm just going to give you an example here. So let's go down here and type letter N. And when our little thing pops up there, type in it swatch. And you might hope to see a fancy wristwatch, but you're not going to. When you click outside this, you'll see something even fancier, which is a color wheel sort of thing. Okay, so this is a color picker. Um, but what can we do with it? We know we can pick colors with it, but what does it do? How can we use it? Well, if you don't know how to use it, you can put a message underneath here and see what comes out of the swatch. So usually with an object, things come out this uh, left-hand outlet, and we're going to put it in the right-hand inlet of the message because that will just accept it for whatever it is, and I'm going to make this message a little bigger. Of course, I know what's going to happen. And I'm going to lock my patcher and then just move this around. Oh, fantastic. So if you're doing that, you can see a bunch of numbers moving around, and let's just kind of arbitrarily stop somewhere. Okay, 0 0.1 point, 0 0.514286, and 1 point. And what this is, is it is a color. The zero is for how much red is in the color. The one is for how much green is in the color. The 0 0.514286 is for how much blue is in the color. And the one point is telling you how um, opaque uh, the, the color is, well, the alpha channel. Now, we're not going to change the alpha channel just now because that's extra fancy and we're just going to be medium fancy. But now that we know what this does, let's pick a nice color like a brilliant red here. And we'll go over here. How brilliant can we get a red? I see myself headed towards a, there it was, there it was. That makes sense. There we go. Look. So red is um, uh, 1.0 Point, uh, excuse me, one, zero, zero, one. One, it's a full amount of red, zero amounts of green, zero amounts of blue, and one is the alpha channel. Let me just see if I can zoom in a little bit there. I'm sorry, I wasn't being sensitive to all of you there. So um, now we can see that we have a message that actually says what the color red is. Well, what could we do with that? we can find a new thing to do with message boxes. And that thing is send it to other message boxes, as we often do. So let's make another message box down here that says, um, just type the letter M. You've unlocked your patcher, of course. I'm going to turn on caps lock because I love to see big messages. And I'm going to type um, timer ready. Okay. And then I'm going to hook this to that. Whoopsie. No, I'm not. I'm going to delete that because we need something else here. I'm going to disconnect this little guy here. Disconnect. Delete. Okay. And I'm going to bring this down here. We know that that's going to turn things red, and but it will only do it if we put a certain kind of message in it. So at the very front of that, I'm going to type in here 
BG, whoopsie, forgot the caps lock, a certain kind of message called BG fill color and a space. And when messages are sent around in Macs that have this kind of, um, what would you call it, antecedent prefix, this kind of prefix, it does something truly wonderful to whatever it is that it affects. And that's usually a graphic user object. So let's just click on it and see what happens. Whoops. Let's lock our patcher and click on it and see what happens. Woo! Did you see that? I am just in love with that. OK. Your timer is ready. Well, that's a stupid color for the timer to be when it's ready. That's when the timer is done. But you get the idea. So you might wonder, though, where do I come up with these, with these uh, uh, prefixes to use on that? Well, I will tell you that if you, once again, unlock your patcher and click on it, and then go over, click on Inspector, whoops, click on the Inspector to open it, and then make sure you have all the things here, and then go, I'm going too fast. I had too much coffee. I'm really sorry. Go over to the All button up here. Let's just, whoops, that doesn't zoom the whole thing. Darn it. Well, trust me on this one. Over here in the right-hand corner, it says All, and then you get all of these things, these uh, attributes here. But down here at the bottom, and now I'm going to have to use my screen zoom, which is always more difficult. There we go. Show attribute names click and it turns green which means that it's showing them and now I'm going to click them on and off so you can see them actually do it there hiding them now I'm showing them and up here you see this which is BG fill color and that means you can send this as a prefix and if you put the right numbers behind it you can send that send it a color you can also send a text color let's try it what the heck so zooming back out here um, well it would be stupid to make that text red wouldn't it let's uh, just make another message here whoops clicking in our box here and we'll make a message and we'll say um, what do we want to say that we want to change the text color? Um, patience is a virtue. There we go. And then we're going to make another message that said text color space now, if I'm right about this, we could figure out how to make green, um, which would be zero point space one point space zero point space one point space. Why would that be green? Because, sorry, I'm just zooming all over the place. It has zero amounts of red one, which is the full amount of green, zero amounts of blue, and it's completely opaque. That's a one. So according to this, if we've done this correctly and text color is the right prefix, if we push it down here to patience is a virtue with a patch cord, and there we go, a miracle will happen. And let's see if it does. I've locked my patcher. I'm pushing on text color. Oh my goodness, look at that. Patience is a virtue, and I hope that you feel patient. So, um, so, zooming back out again to see our timer, we're going to start thinking about how we could um, utilize these things, right? So we have a background fill color of um, red, we have a text fill color of green, and we can make 
as many of these as we want. So let's just say that we put a big message down here and let's try to let's try to make our patcher do this. When you hit the reset button it says timer ready. When it starts counting up to 120 it says patience is a virtue and when it finally gets to the end it says your egg is ready. So we have timer ready. We have patience as a virtue. Let's unlock our patchers and say your egg is ready. Type M your egg is ready. Exclamation point. Okay. So let's make one more message here. There's the message. And now we're going to start trying to format things here because we want this one to be really big. So let's click on it. Whoops. Click, click out outside and then click in it and go up here to the top bar and you'll see this little paint bucket just go ahead click on that and a formatting bar comes down and what you'll see is this shows the message and this up here shows the background color and the text color right and then over here, the font. So we could pick, uh, well, let's let just, just leave the fonts alone. And then we can pick the size. That's what we're really after. So let's make it 20, just enormous. And then we'll type in here uh, blank. We'll just type blank. Or it doesn't matter what we type, because we're going to change it. Blank. OK. So if we want to say your egg is ready, we're going to have to connect this. And if we want to say the timer is ready, then it has to come from here. And remember, these are all going in the right-hand inlet. And if we want to say patience is a virtue, that comes from here. OK? So let's lock our patchers and let's just try and see that they work. Your egg is ready. Oh, goodness. Timer read Y, and of course, patience E is a virtue. Okay, so we'll unlock our patcher, unlock our patcher, click on that, click on this, stretch it out here till patience is a virtue fits. Okay, so locking our patcher again, we're just going to watch it. Your egg is ready. Oh, we're still not quite big enough. Let's try that. Your egg is ready. Fantastic. And we'll lock that down. Timer ready. Patience is a virtue. Fantastic. OK. So unlocking our patcher, we stop and think, what will trigger the egg being ready? Well, your egg is ready when this a uh, button gets fired by this counter carry counting. So we'll just connect a patch cord from here to here. Okay? When we reset it back to zero, then we're going to want the timer to be ready. So I'm just going to connect this, this reset button. Where is my patch cord? Did it just. I've got. There it is. And there it is. Now it looks like I'm sending the word reset into the timer, but really it's just going to bang on it and send the message out. Okay? And then patience is a virtue. We want it to do that while it's counting. And so the simplest thing to do there is to connect it to the metronome and here whoops hey you so sometimes these just jump to wherever they want to be and now I have this stupid uh, this stupid wire going across here I want to tell you all how to deal with that 
click on it and hit Command Y, and that should make it into a squarish kind of thing. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. And then you can grab a piece of it and kind of move it out of the way. Okay? Oh, I just hate this messy patching. And you can do that with any of these that you want. Command Y. That's probably Control Y on a PC. Okay? All right. So, let's see if this whole crazy thing works here. Um, we're going to set this to 120 because we just opened our patcher. We're going to set this to reset. Oh, look, our timer is ready. And then we're going to go up here and click Start. So here we go. Oh, patience is a virtue. Oh my god, we have to wait for 120 seconds. What was I thinking? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we can make the timer go much faster. Here. Now the timer is going to go much, much faster. It's still not going fast enough for me. But, uh, okay, it's up to 63, so... It's coming, it's coming. Remember! Remember! Patience is... Oh, my egg is ready! Awesome! Totally awesome! We've made an egg timer with only $500 worth of software and a $3,000 computer. Um, but we can do anything. So, we're not, we're not fully happy with this yet because what we want is for this to have some attributes, as we call them, uh, that will also change. So let's say when the timer is ready, whoops, well yeah, when the timer is ready, we also want it to say, we want the background fill color to be, let's say yellow. No, no, green. It's ready, right? So here we have a text color that's green. Let's just um, copy that by option clicking on it and moving that over here. Okay? And now we're going to change it to background fill color by double clicking on the inside here. I'm just highlighting that text. Yeah, yeah. That text and I'm making it BG fill color. Perfect. I'm going to connect that to from here to the left hand outlet. And what can trigger it? Well, timer ready can trigger it, so we can just connect one from here. Okay? And perhaps we should um, test that by locking our patcher and hitting it. Woo! Timer is ready. Okay. Mm, let's see, what else do we have to do here? So when timer is ready, it's making that the background fill color, but I think we need a different text color. So uh, let's just say that um, doo, 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 doo. here's a, another of the text color again so we can copy it and drag it over here oh my god this is such a mess we'll move this timer ready over here we're not going to use that background fill or color for timer ready anymore so there's timer ready here's our background fill color and here's our text color and what color do we want the text we could do this two ways, actually. Uh, well, I'll show you the, the easy way first, which is, um, let's say we wanted to make the text black. I think that's one. No, no, that, that would end up being white. This would end up being one, and one would be red plus green, and that makes yellow with no blue. What we really want is black, which is zero, zero. One, okay, and of course we connect them, and we can either connect here to here or here to here. It doesn't really matter, right? I like to have it be a big mess. So let's lock our patcher and see if we can do that now. Boom! Oh, 
What the heck did I do wrong? Oh, it. <laughs> I lied to you. There we go. Um, this. Uh, put this up here. There we go. Um, because this has a prefix on it, it doesn't trigger this one to let go of its message, but instead change the fill color of this one. So hook your, your cord up here to timer is ready. Now let's lock our patcher. Boom. Okay. Now we can do the same thing with oops. Patience is a virtue is going to be it's kind of pretty the way it is there, isn't it? So patience is a virtue. Let's steal the text color from up there and uh, we'll just delete that patch cord. We need a and we'll delete this patch cord and bring that down here. And you know, as long as we're at it, you'll notice that I can group these things and drag them around. Let's neaten it up here. We'll move this one over here because we're all done with that. And that'll give us enough room for your egg is ready. And we'll grab these two like that. And now command click on them. You get that? I'm going to click outside it. I just dragged a rectangle across them so that they both ended up being highlight. And I pushed option key and just drag them over here and that copies them. Is that the right colors? No, not yet. But here we go. We can find out what the right colors are by looking at swatch. And so let's put a message box under swatch and then we can just pick whatever color we want. So there's a message box under the swatch. And we lock the patcher. So for patience is a virtue, we want the background color to be uh, we want let's let's do the text color first. We want it to be green. And we pretty much know how to do that. It's going to be really close to just um, being a roof, roof, roof. If we look at this as 0 0.9 and 0 0.1. So we know that's really 0, 1, 0, 1. Text color, 0, 1, 0, 1. OK, we'll use that one. And connect this to that. And then this outlet to the left-hand inlet of timer ready. And now the fill color, while patience is a virtue, we want it to be gray. And We'd be kind of hard pressed to find a gray here, but maybe a gray blue. Um, we can figure out what it is though, because it'd probably be about half of all of these things. Uh, let's just let's just try the experimental way. I'm gonna just do these three here all at once and say 0 0.5 space, 0 0.5 space, 0 0.5, and then we and then we left this as a one. Okay, and we're going to connect this. Oh, it said zero. It changed it to 0 0.5. That's fine. And then we connect this top one up to the patience is a virtue. And let's lock our patcher and see how that works. So patience is a virtue. I didn't get the gray perfect, but darn, it's close. Timer ready. The timer's ready. And now all we have to do is get your egg ready and I think we know the colors for that mostly without even using swatch, but if we did, we could. Um, so the text color, we want it to be white. And white is all ones. Or zeros. Yeah, no, ones. Ones. Black is. Zero, 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 0001 white is 1111 one, one, one. okay so that's what the text color is going to be and the background fill I'm actually just connecting these while I'm here I'll change the numbers in a second uh, we want it to be red 
and we already have the right color for red there because we stole that one from Timer Ready. Well, that's it. I hope that wasn't too um, too fast and loose for you there, but let's just check them. Here's your egg is ready, timer ready, patience is a virtue. Fantastic. Um, I'm just going to zoom out here and let's see, actually, let's just, before we go all the way with this thing, I'm going to make this even bigger. I'm going to make it 48. How's that? Just to kind of lord it over people how, how great this project is. So if we were counting at um, the 120, let's see, let's see how this would all work. So go ahead, click the, oops, reset. The timer's ready. Go. And off our counter goes, counting like crazy. It's up to halfway there now. Oh, patience is a virtue, as you noticed. Well, you must know, because you're sitting through this video. And here it comes. Your egg is ready. So when you actually make this a 1,000, that'll be two minutes. The perfect thing to make eggs by. OK? So get your egg timers working, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.